Alright, there appears to be an item down at the bottom of the C4. That is a pearl string. Okay, so I believe I can sell that to a vendor for quite a bit of money. Um, I don't know if those are just the, um... Did I mean to get off? I kind of wanted to look around the ocean to see if I could find any more of the items that were just sitting down at the bottom of the sea. But, um... Let's see, I think there actually was down this way by one of the swimmers. Oh no, that was like a corsola or something that was just sitting down there. Alright, whatever. Um, anyway, yeah, I don't know if, uh... I fought you already. A... Lazygar crystal cube thing. Um, I don't know if pearl strings are something that you can only sell to certain vendors or if they're something that you can sell to anybody, but... Anyway, a bag full of treasures too. Oh, is that a hint? I think that's a hint. That sounds like a hint. Um, that would, that's not Stoutland. I meant to get on Stoutland. I like how I didn't notice that until um, I started running. Alright, so there's something in this general direction. Alright, come on. That is a soda pop, very nice. I don't know if I want to actually use that after it's been buried in the sand for god knows how long. But, um, <clears throat> see anything in this direction? No. Nope. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, I saw an exclamation mark pop up. Can I really not go through there? Thanks, Collision Physics. Um, where is it? This direction? Uh, here it is, I think. That is a pearl. <clears throat> Alright, so, go along nicely with the pearl string. Um, what about here? More? I won't spend too long doing this, and in any case, it looks like I'm pretty much, uh, covered the beach. Um, facing this direction, or what? I think it was... Here. Yes, you can, you can bark all you want. That's another pearl, okay, so that's a soda pop, two pearls, pearl string that I saw in the actual ocean. Not bad. Um, you are some NPCs who I will fight, or at least uh, I will talk to as soon as I go and come down this way. Is there anything down this way? Okay, so there is one more thing. Um, it looks like this is not part of the main area. Hello. Oh, come on. That is a heart scale, so if I ever need to visit the move relearning. Um, I will check that out later on to see if anybody has interesting, like, startup moves. Uh, another hidden item. There's a lot of items on this beach. I'm glad that NPC told me to do this. Um, another hard scale. Alright, perfect. Um, these are going to be random encounters, aren't they? Alright. Oh, look, there's another one. Is this going to be another Staryu? Alright, so that was just a couple of Staryu, which I caught the first one, because apparently I haven't before. I could have sworn that I caught a Staryu before, but whatever. I see another sparkling spot on the ground. Glistening sweat. Glistening sweat. Words. Letters. Order. Um. I don't know if... What? Sure. Is this gonna be like a pumpkin chucker? Yes, they do. Alright. I haven't caught any before, I think. Sure. Six left on the sand that needs saving. Alright. That is not one of them. Uh, this is a lifeguard tower. I'm not gonna go out of my way to look for these things. Um, oh look, wait a minute. Have they just appeared on the beach? Because I was gonna say, I haven't, uh... I don't even have to battle it. Uh, I was gonna say, I didn't see any on the beach earlier. Alright, so this is gonna be two. This shouldn't be too bad, right? Although, it's going to make me run up and down the beach quite a bit. Um, <clears throat> let's see, anything... No? Oh, look, there's another one. Hello. Puke? Mook? That's maybe not the best choice of, like, words for a Pokemon cry. Um, this is five? I haven't been paying attention, because I never pay attention. I think that was five. Um, let's see, uh... I'm just riding Herdia around like it's uh, any other mount. I'm still looking for six. How about down here? Oh look, there's a thing. Are there actually more than six, or are there only six? Yes, yeah, so we're gonna check that back into the sea. Let's let's have a quick look down here. Okay, so there's a... I'm pretty sure that was six, but I guess I can do seven if I want to. Oh, okay, so I guess that was six. Alright, like, 
guy telling me to chuck animals into the ocean. Part timer. Okay. I mean, the guests can just like watch where they're walking. I guess that's not an option anymore. Uh, that is 20,000 Poké Dollars. God. It's a real shame. I still say they look like the slimes from Battle Fantasy. Or, and the, uh, go like, Golem Helper guys. Both of them, because they have, the, like, a slime-like body. And, um, kind of crystals on their faces. And backs and whatever. Anyway. I have spent quite a lot of time, uh, on that beach. So now I'm going to go and, uh, actually go into the hotel where I think I'm supposed to. A bell hop. Bell captain. Very nice. I, I didn't want to do that. Am I gonna dismount when I get inside? Alright, I dismounted when I get inside, and I don't think I ever checked this before, but you can't ride Pokemon inside. Which makes sense, wait a minute. Hit X. Oh, so X is gonna be like, a help information thing. Yeah, Rock Smash. Alright. That's nice. Um, I, I can get out of here. Because... Oh, so press X to see what the Pokemon can do. The sun and the moon. Um, there's a lot of NPCs in here. Just, I don't know why I talked to all the bellhops, because they're just bellhops. They're like generic NPCs. Okay. That's cool. You there! Who in the world are you? Am I finally gonna get a name? Faba. Is that supposed to be a pun of some sort or another? The eight, the ether paradise. I don't know. the The word starts with an A, but I see the word ether in there, so I call it ether. Ether just sounds a little weird. An artificial land. Oh, so I guess I know what Colrus is doing here now. I think Colrus wasn't so much to do with the artificial land as he was with um, uh, like moves and power of Pokemon and stuff. Uh, I guess that would be more of, of like a team like magma sort of thing. Anyway, way take me to, yeah, I guess, is this like a, a man-made island or something? She mentioned never getting married again, which I remember like some of the NPCs gossiping about a while ago. Yeah, professor. Oh, fine. You mean like wrestling rock rough? That is a telephone. All right. Yes, the amazing technology that Ether is developing. Is this gonna be good or bad? Because, I don't know, they have a sort of sinister vibe to me for some reason or another. But they don't seem like they're, like, Team Skull or anything odd like that. Yeah, let's. And I mean, the Professor seems okay with them, although that doesn't necessarily mean much, because, like, Professor Sycamore and uh, Team Flare and whatever. I had to think about Team Flare's name for a minute. Alright. Yeah. Sure. What? Okay, um, this reminds me of another One Piece thing, because apparently everything in this game does. Apparently everything in, like, the last couple of games I've played reminds me of One Piece. Um, <clears throat> I don't think, it's like, I guess they had floating islands in the sky that were held up by whatever the, the science was behind that, like petrified clouds or something, uh, which is just weird, really. But I guess floating islands in the sea isn't, like, too far off from that, right? Alright, whatever, can we just arrive already? This game does have fairly long loading times, which uh, I am not surprised by, really, because of how, like, graphically complex these games are. But, um, let's see, so this is going to be a building, so this is a little less fascinating than I was hoping it would be. Alright. Can I meet the Pokemon who's holding it up? I'd imagine that would be a fun challenge to catch. Pseudo Udo. Although it would probably be, like, level 70 or 80. That's a fancy looking alert. Should there be like a, a gate popping up outside that too? So that people don't fall in that hole? Alright. Developing new Pokemon Pokeballs, did I see that correctly? Nice. Yeah, Pokeball the games have hinted that Pokeballs are more complicated than um <clears throat> than you would expect. I guess they have to be complicated if they want to fit things like Groudon and Dialga into them. But um yeah, there was Getsus' cane that also could supposedly do that. I wonder, are we gonna see Getsus again? 
Because I would not be disappointed at all if we meet Gessus and N in that whole gang from uh, Gen 5 all over again. Um, who are you again? Branch manager. But the president. Alright. This has a very, like, science lab, like, feel to the music. Anyway, can I, can, who are you? Can I have names? You look like Dolores Umbridge for some reason. Wiki. Nice to meet you. Ow. I mean... Alright, I was gonna say, it's not like it's out of the question for you to be in contact with the professor or anything. The main thing is above us. Perfect. <clears throat> and apparently that elevator is con controlled by, like, telepathy or something. Because it didn't appear that they were pressing any buttons there when it just showed up. Or it just had really good timing, whoever was upstairs. Or they were just listening to our conversation, who knows. Anyway. Let's see. Uh, where are we now? That is another Yeti. Abominable snowman, whatever it was. I still don't know the thing's real name. Pokemon at the reception desk. Okay, so I wouldn't try and catch those anyway because I already have them in my Pokedex. That sounds horrible, but um, I tend to say horrible things in these games without like realizing it, don't I? Wait a minute, I'm 11? I do not look 11. Like, 11 year olds should be like young and annoying. At least, that's what I remember about being 11. Alright, where are we going now? <clears throat> also, this is a very long cutscene, I have to say. Getting tired of hitting the A button, I just want to- This reminds me a lot of that, like, spear pillar. Especially with the Delta symbol. Is this gonna be related to the Delta episode? From Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire? Okay, so this actually looks like a fairly cool garden- Oh! Oh, 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 this is the place in the intro. Where Lily was running around. Lily, what did you do to, um, to, to, to the Ether Foundation? Did you, like, steal a Pokemon? This just got interesting. Something about, like, a... Uh, a name that I couldn't pronounce. That is a Corsola and a Staryu. Starmie. Starmie is the evolved form. Toxapex. What? It's 12 legs. It leaves a trail of Corsola bits scattered in its wake. Oh, fun. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> have you ever actually seen what sea cucumbers do? Uh huh. Why wouldn't they bother setting up a branch like a place in Alola is the better question, how? Speaking of which, we still haven't met this president dude, have we? Alright, so we finally get to walk around a little. Um, what do you have to say? Okay, so that wasn't very interesting. What do you have to say, How? Yeah, I mean, they don't seem like the most, uh, careful of organizations, Team Skull. Let's see. Yeah. I guess, hmm. So you're referencing Bill. I can't get through there. Um... <clears throat> I guess, like, supposing that the 3DS game cards, like, last that long, there's no reason you couldn't, right? Or, uh, assuming, like, the, uh, what is it? Like, the Pokemon Bank Cloud is still running after 100 years. That's another thing. Hmm. Alright. Mysterious Pokemon. Wait, a different form? What? Okay. Uh, oh, come on, a fork in the road. You know how much I don't like forks in the road game? Oh, okay, so it just rejoins the other one. Um, I heard a Starmie cry. I think that was a Starmie cry. Like, I've, I've been hearing cries in the background for, um, this is a big area. I've been hearing Pokemon cries in the background for pretty much the entire game. Um, which I think is, like, a nice attention to detail. I've noticed a lot about this game is that, um, they definitely, uh, they definitely did not slack when it came to the attention to, like, the little things in the corners and stuff. Um... Big tropical region, yeah. Although, somehow, I'm still as, like, pale as whatever. Hmm. Yeah, so that just goes in a big circle. Wouldn't it be, like, nicer if there was less grass? If there was, like, more grass and less, um, sidewalk? 
for these Pokemon? Wouldn't you think? Alright, whatever. Hmm, Staryu. I could have sworn I saw one of these earlier, but I, ha I guess I haven't because, um, obviously, the thing doesn't have a Pokeball icon next to it. Dragon Rage did a very nice chunk of damage. Bubble Beam is going to be super effective, which is not really something that I maybe wanted to do, isn't staying in there. But anyway, hopefully, Pokeball. This should do it because Staryu doesn't have the lowest catch rate ever, although I don't believe it's a perfect catch rate. Um, was that a critical capture? One. Two. Okay, so I guess it wasn't. Thank you very much. I thought it was going to escape there for a minute. But anyway, Staryu has been caught. And, um, all I'll have to do is, like, do a little bit of healing on Amazonian instead of, like, a full revive. So, uh, Staryu's data has been added to the Pokedex. And, um, Rotom is going to tell me some things that I really just do not care about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming along nicely without a, a Kala Pokedex, aren't I? 